So this is something I was not expecting at the campground. Apparently there is a concert on a Wednesday. Hey guys, this is Shane with DNS Adventures and it's time for another campground review. Today we'll be showing you around Badger Park here in Perstigo, Wisconsin. Perstigo? Perstigo? I don't know. So we got the premium spot here right next to the elementary school and the high school. Luckily, at least this week, school is not in its session. Since we are right next to it, there are also a couple cabins you can rent here. I don't know what they look like on the inside, but they look like they're fairly new. The one thing I would like to mention is that the electric is kind of on the opposite side of all these sites, so you may or may not need an extension cord for your power, I believe. Let's check real quick. Yeah, it looks like they do a 50 amp, 30 amp, and 20 amp hookups here. Then they also, of course, have water, but there are no sewer hookups. You'll have to dump your takes at the dump station they have here. This is a county park. This is our first time staying in a county park, and so far it's actually been fairly peaceful. And they do have some campfire wood for sale here. Over here at Badger Park, you have your amenities. You have your own football field and track. Just kidding, that's the high school. You also have your outdoor concert hall over here. They actually had a concert here on Wednesday. I'll put that footage in here. Unfortunately, we only caught the end of that concert, so it was pretty cool. We, I mean, you could hear it all the way back from our campsite, some local artists. As I'm walking over here to show you the pond, there are some basketball courts over like at the high school and elementary school if you want to shoot some hoops. And over here, there's some sand volleyball, and you can also go swimming out there in the pond. In the middle of the park is like the biggest playground I've ever seen in my entire life. I so would have liked that as a child. And off this direction, you do have more picnic areas in this park because it's kind of a campground area than also a picnic area or a, just a regular park that you would see in most cities. And in this wooded area back here, there is a disc golf course. I can't remember how many baskets they have over here. Kind of wish I had my disc with me. And one of my favorite parts about this little county park here is the fact there are some hiking trails throughout here. So this little path here is if you walk down this main little I guess road or path straight back or straight north from the campground and if you turn left here by the second basket for disc golf you can go back into this wooded area over here i got some footage with deanna here earlier hiking blazed or taking blaze for a walk through here i didn't really take you by the restrooms but they have okay restrooms here as far as campgrounds go <laughs> Um, you do have to pay a quarter to take a shower, which is new for us on the road. I've heard of it before when I went camping here in Indiana. I'll show you this cool area real quick. As far as cell signal goes, um, we have both AT&T and Verizon here at this campground, but AT&T was a little bit stronger. Gotta watch out for these little frogs along this path there. I might step on one but Verizon was okay too. Either one of them was super strong. It didn't seem like the Wii Boost or our external antenna for AT&T helped really boost the signal at all. There's a deer running through the woods over here. A couple of them might be able to capture it for you. Yeah, it's probably too far away for the GoPro. It looks like three of them running through the woods right in front of me. Well, it looks like I made it back to the campground through a little hike through this woods. <laughs> If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more reviews like it. You can also check out more campground reviews and hikes and stuff like that on dnsadventures.com. And as always guys, adventure on. Catching Deanna in the act over here, taking her food photography. Make sure you check out theharvestskillet.com.